Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my corner of the internet once again. My name is Jason, and today we are back with some Arma 2 Warfare in Takistan. Alright, uh, you might notice, uh, th actually things are a little bit different. Uh, I don't have any teammates with me. Basically what I had to do is I had to go ahead and restart the whole playthrough. That's right, I had to restart everything all over again. Uh, so as you can tell, things are a little bit more limited, unfortunately because this playthrough has not been going on as long as the last one. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll explain all that in a second. First things first though, let's go ahead and uh, pick up a few guys at least. Uh, let's grab a machine gunner, let's grab a medic, uh, another grenadier, and uh, I'll spend the time that, uh, let's, kind of go, let's grab a guy with a backpack, because hopefully he's carrying some ammo. I don't think he really is, but we'll grab, him, grab it anyways. That way there, if he dies, I can have a backpack. All right, so. Basically what happened, we saw a little bit of it uh, in the last video that I went ahead and put up online and basically what happened was that uh, the game did start to show some degradation and that was because you had the large numbers of AI uh, fighting each other which the, honestly the, the, the processor could not hold up to. Now when I did my, so some of my tests, I actually did it just straight up on the other, the other laptop. But uh, when running a virtual machine, when running the server through a virtual machine, there is going to be a performance hit. And I don't think I necessarily, I took that fully into account when I did my, I will say, pre-game test. So, what ended up happening was that the, um, come on brain, you know, the server wasn't running as well as it needed to be, and things just sort of broke. Uh, so I went ahead and I restarted. See, we, I've already gone ahead and we've captured Huz Rutamam and uh, Sultan Safi, or Sultan Safe, depending on which uh, which thing you're going to look at. I'm going to go ahead with Sultan Safe because that's the way it's actually written on the map. And we are actually still going back towards Loy Manara again. So I got us back to that same point. Um, so, and that's that's where, where we are going to continue. Now, this time here, what did I do to prevent this from happening again? Well, because, you know, especially if this if we start to get pretty far in this campaign, I don't want to, you know, be, you know, right end game, you know, like 50 hours into the game. I don't know how long this playthrough will go, but, you know, 50 hours, we're, we're up to, like, episode 391. I don't know, I'm throwing numbers out there. And all of a sudden, I'm going, well, crap. The, the whole game just sort of halted, and we're not getting anywhere. Um, I went ahead and I turned AI... Um, squad sizes down to four. Now the reason I did that, I, I took off away two of their enemies, was because I actually changed resistance, because for some reason resistance was set to medium instead of light. <clears throat> because apparently the, the computer thinks that medium resistance means resistance means six tanks. I don't want to know what it considers heavy or insane resistance to be, but according to this scenario, medium resistance involves six tanks at times. So we've turned it down to light resistance, which is mostly going to be infantry, probably some trucks, um, and there, there, there actually can still be a tank or two, uh, depending on the town. And what this does is it's going to... We're still going to have decent fights, and that's why I actually took down the, the uh, AI squad count just a little bit, down to four, uh, so that it's still kind of a, an even playing field, but there's still plenty of action. So there's still going to be plenty of action, still going to be plenty of shooting. Uh, I think there's just going to be, we'll say, fewer tanks, uh, at least at the beginning, once we run into Op 4, because we also got to think, the simulation is running on their end as well. So Op 4 is now going to be able to make advances, they're going to be able to make money. Once we hit Op 4, they're going to be well established, they're going to have lots of money, they're going to have their own towns, and they're going to be able to throw tanks at us, and then we're going to really have that heavy resistance. But also by that time, we should have air power. And, you know, that's when things are really going to get interesting. So, uh, I'm seeing the beginning of the game focusing mostly on infantry, and we'll see more vehicles come in as the uh, playthrough progresses. Um, and as you can see, you know, soldiers are still getting taken out uh, on their way to Loy Minara. So, it's not, uh, we, it's not, it's not going to be a walk in the park, just because I switched it down to light. Uh, light just basically means the type of, we'll say, uh, resistance. You know, uh... It's not going to have, you know, legions of tanks where we have to somehow make it through with our, what, M, <laughs> M136s? Yeah, that, that, that was, uh, that was, that was brutal. Uh, I actually recorded, uh, what was it, two, three hours worth of video that is not going up because it was basically, for some reason, they reset Loy Manara and we had to go fight through these tanks all over again. 
and it was it was just a headache it was not fun to watch there was a lot of technical problems and that's why i decided ultimately i had to make well, i had to make the executive decision to go ahead and restart uh but you know come back in basically where we were before um you know we 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 are a little bit behind on our we'll say tech tree if you will but uh we're we're still at the same place um as far as the battle goes as, as far as uh territory taken and you know territory control we are still roughly where we need to be so uh this time here because we we, we actually we did take loy Minara in the last video well technically we did but it wouldn't count the capture uh just because there was a bunch of tanks sitting around that were unoccupied but for some reason the computer was still considering it uh you know them, them still inhabited if you will or being driven you know by the enemy so this time here, we're going to go ahead and we are actually going to capture Loy Minara. And it's going to be fun. It's going to be great. And we're way back here. So uh, I think we can move up. Now, if you if you have, uh, I'm not sure if it'll come through because I, I do t tend to keep my uh, audio a little bit lower. Uh, for, come on, brain. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah, for the gameplay. So that uh, mine comes through because my, my, rec my recording volume's a little low. So hopefully you can hear it, but there is shooting off in the distance. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and make a cut. We're Like I said, I don't want to waste any of your time. We're going to go ahead and make a cut. And I will uh, bring you guys back once we actually get a little bit uh, closer to being, you know, right into the thick of the thick of things. All right. And we're back. Uh, I figured we'd come in here. We're, we're not... We'll say directly under fire or anything, but we're close enough. Uh, friendlies are off to our right over by the airport. Uh, we've got, I've got my guys uh, with me. We're coming up along the road. And uh, we have had a couple uh, of uh, enemies called out. Uh, in fact, from here, we can actually see one that had been taken out. Let me see if he's still up on the hill. Yeah, we see the body of one uh, dead right by my, uh, we'll say, two marker. So we know that there are uh, hostels in that direction. I believe we see... Is that a truck or is that just a build? No, that's just a building. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Have contact directly ahead. Switching to my gun. And I'm going to have to go prone here. And we're going to we're gonna go ahead and engage him. Oh, there we go. 12 o'clock. Enemy. Man. Far. He's, uh, yeah, he's trying to move forward. I don't have a visual anymore because he's on the other side of those trees. Hopefully, uh, he can't see through the trees and start uh, opening fire on me. Enemy man, so, here's where the grind begins. And here's where my claims that the, this playthrough will be uh, no less, we'll say, action-packed than uh, with uh, medium resistance uh, is sort of put to the test. Oh, oh, I think we're taking fire here, are we? Yeah, so I'm gonna move up over uh, over here. We're, we're gonna stay low while we make our approach here. We're gonna take things slow. I, I've been saying this constantly. It's like I want to emphasize that we're gonna keep things slow. Nice and easy. A nice for a slow advance. And look, look! Enemy tank! We still have an enemy tank to contend with. I told you there would still be stuff like that, so... It's not going to be a walk in the park. But uh, now with that new information that there is there is actually, in you know, in fact, there is a tank. I'm starting to wonder if our position right now is uh, the best one to be in. Um, now in the, uh, the footage I didn't upload uh, because, like I said, it was terrible. We actually made a run for that hill and we, we started attacking the enemy from the north. Uh, that also puts us in a... Oh, crap. Over there. That puts us in a better position. Oh, wait, is that friendly? I don't think that's friendly. Uh, let's see. That uh, is a little bit northeast of us. I don't think that's a friendly. No, that those are definitely not friendlies. So I'll try putting some fire down there. Oh, crap, crap. They're returning fire. Okay, guys, I think we're what we're gonna do. Uh, crap, 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 crap. Bad, we're in a bad spot. Bad spot. Pull back. I'm falling back. Pulling back. Uh, yeah. No, I think we might be better. Uh, better off either going 
uh, into the uh, the air uh, the airfield. But go by the airport, or if we can, um, like I said, hook up north. Let me think about this. Uh, so we've already got guys down here by the airstrip. What we, yeah, what we need to do is be able to flank the enemy, hit them from another point. Uh, I know the AI is probably going to run up along the airstrip, so let's try to do something a little bit different and move up um, north. Okay, guys, I'm going to get my guys to sort of pull back. We're going to hook... I'll show you on the map. We are going to hook around here, go over this way so they can't see us, and then we're going to come up on top of the hill and sh uh, hit them from the north. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and we'll say, yeah, we need to pull, fall back a little bit more. We're going to go ahead and stop recording. Like I said, I'll go ahead and make the cut and I'll bring you guys back in once we are, uh, once again, involved in uh, the, we'll say the conflict. Right now, uh, we just need to sort of, like I said, pull back and uh, get into a better position. So I'll see you once we get into that uh, better position. Okay, you know what? Uh, so far, this pulling back and hooking around uh, sort of ta uh, idea is not working so well. Basically, I told my guys to fall back, but, you know, they're constantly under fire. I'm honestly wondering, because the enemy seems to be actually pushing forward, actually, like, to repel us. So I am actually wondering if, uh, rather than doing our full hook around, like I had mentioned, if we should, you know, maybe engage from on top of the hill up here. That way there, it's sort of more of a, yeah, more of a solid line. Because if once we get over here, we're actually going uphill. And if they have uh, enemies up here, which they sometimes do, that, that's going to uh, cause problems for us. And here comes the tank right now. All right. Um, crap. Okay, everybody, uh, feel free to open fire. I'm switching out to my my rocket, and hopefully this time I am not going to fail miserably. Come on, Jason. Let's do this. Oh, he's not getting any, getting any closer. Oh, don't be smart. Come on. Wait, do they have two tanks? They got three tanks! What the heck? I thought this was supposed to be light resistance! Okay, I get- you know what? I, I, I'm, I'm wondering if Loy Minara just happens to have higher resistance due to the fact that it's right by the airfield. I'm wondering if this is kind of seen as, uh, you know, a way of defending the, the airfield. Because once we get the airfield, we can get, you know, fixed wing aircraft. Which, uh, which will be kind of fun to, to, to do late, later on in the game, but... Man, for light resistance, like I said, I told you guys, I said things were going to be a little bit more, uh, you know, a little bit more laid back, but I told you they were still going to be an intense. Man, this is, uh, dang, this is actually, this is going a little bit rougher than I thought. I figured, you know, well, we'd walk in, you know, we'd have a decent fight, but eventually we'd be able to make our way to Loy Minara, but it, it actually seems like we're getting, uh, we're getting hit, we're getting hit hard. Oh, get down, get down, get down, get down. Those, those, oh, that was awesome! The tracers just whizzed past my head! Okay. Alright, everybody, let's, uh... Stay careful! <laughs> Be careful, guys! They definitely know we're up here, and they can definitely put fire on us up here. Okay, so we got a heavy vehicle supply constructed. So all I need to do is save up some money, and then we can probably end this whole ordeal um, in the way that I, uh, basically, uh, what I ended up doing in the, the footage that we ended up getting cut is I actually ended up getting, holy crap! Yeah, we need, to, we need to fall back. We're not go, go, going over this hill. Uh, we ended up getting a Bradley, and uh, I'm starting to wonder if we might need some uh, some armor to be able to deal with this uh, this town or this strong point. Man, my ears are still ringing. Okay, I need a uh, sit rep on everyone. Is everyone okay? Report status. Three o'clock. Enemy four. I'm at grid zero seven eight three zero two two one. I'm at grid zero seven eight five zero two one.
Man, the, the tank. And I can't get close enough to really to, to hit it with uh, the my, my rocket because we know that unless that thing is point blank, I'm going to miss it. Okay, my, my vision's a little bit blurry, so I'm going to actually uh, treat wounds. I, I'm in, in some pain. I'm guessing the, the impact from the when the, the tank shell hit, it, you know, it caused, a, a, say, a, a shockwave or it, it, it caused me a lot of pain, basically. Um... Okay, dang. Okay, uh, let's 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 actually take a look at what kind of units I have available to purchase. I've got thirteen hundred monies. Um, is there anything with? Because uh, I know we can get the. I can't remember what it's called, the Avenger. Basically, it's a, it's a Humvee with, it's got like rockets on it, uh, a rocket system, but uh, Striker's not going to have heavy enough. We're going to need to wait. Oh, what's this? One Man, no, meters. that doesn't, mm, slat. I'm not familiar with what slat is. I wish it had a write-up because most of the other vehicles have uh, some sort of write-up, but uh, this one here is just slat. I don't know. Is that a heavy weapon? Is that, uh, you know, it's amazing. I've been playing this game forever but you know I don't do a lot of reading outside of the game so unless I've actually had a chance to play around with some of the equipment a lot of times I actually don't know what it is uh and I, I you know I should probably do a little bit more research you know in hindsight I'm thinking about it, I'm like yeah it might be a good idea that way there you can know what you're using familiarize yourself with the tools right all right so we d we just don't have what we need to Is that a, a tank over there? Crap, man, we can't. New intel available. So all my guys are with me, finally. I'm wondering if uh, hooking up north, like my original plan, is probably the, the best chance we have. I I'm really starting to think it is, because... How many tanks do they have? Four tanks! I don't need... A what? Okay, uh, give me a second, guys. I need to check here. Am I playing the right server? Yes. For AI. And where is resistance? Resistance? Uh, uh, resistance difficulty. Light. I'm starting to wonder if Loy Minar is like a special case, yeah? If uh, they, they, this scenario deliberately makes Loy Minar a hard capture. Dang. Alright. Well, let's see. Are my guys at least responding back at the base? Yes, they're not they're not responding up north. Which means which which is good, right? That means that uh, at least we can continue to apply pressure and we will eventually make it or, or make our way through. Things are still playing as they should be, so I don't mind the extra resistance as long as things are not bugging out. Uh, so we just got an upgrade to our life factory. Let's see what we have here. Uh, let's see. Mm. Rose. Special operations vehicle. Nope. Nothing. All right. We're going to have to, uh, we're going to have to get in closer. Okay, guys, come on, follow me. We're gonna move up onto the hill, and maybe, maybe by getting up on the hill, I can get myself into a better position that I actually won't miss with the rocket. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, I suck with rockets. All right. <laughs> 